welcome to another Tabless Glass and Forum YouTube video. Today we're going to show you a project that didn't quite turn out as we planned because our kiln misfired. But we're going to show you what happened to ours and then you can decide to try and do one a bit more like ours or try and do one like, a bit more like we intended. So it's this. Now this is made up of seven layers of pressed uh, candy mix marini and then we fused it all together. Now we meant to just tack fuse it all together but our thermocouple had a malfunction and it went to more of a contour fuse. So ours is sort of overfired and um, like this. But if you follow our firing schedule at the end, it's going to show you how to do it, um, which would be more of a tack fuse. So if you want it like this, make sure you take it hotter. But it is a long anneal on this one, guys, because of the amount of levels of layers and the delicacy of it, we did do a very long anneal on it. So today I'm going to show you how to make this. I'm just drawing some circles. Um, I realise I've done this one too close to the edge of the paper. If we're going to be, um, uh, if we're going to be pressing, we need to leave some space for the edge of the paper. So um, I'm basically going up, and now I've probably gone too close to this one. I'm doing good. Um, okay. If you had a rubber, you'd rub it out. But I don't know where any of my rubbers are. So we got Richard of who else does that? Richard of York gave Battle and Bane red orange yellow and i'm going basically so the first one i started at two and a half and then i'm doing three and then i'm doing three and a half and so on and so forth so i'm going to draw all these circles out and then we can start filling them with marini so i'm going to start with red i'm just using candy mix and seeing what i've got in candy mix um i don't have so much what i consider red red and candy mix um i'm going with this one here you know me and glue um Quite orangey red, but yeah. right, I'm going to start with orange ones because I've got more orange colours, and then I will find more red in a minute. So orange, I've got a lot of this. Unless I might put a big one of those in the middle. Um, got some awesome leaves. Um, I'm not really, you know, thinking too much about it. I just want to kind of fill up the whole area with scrap that we'll all squash together. This is kind of like those little um, bowls I did where I used a load of scrap. It's quite good. If I take a handful, then I can go through and go, that's orange. This is our kind of um, autumn mix. So it's a bit orange, a bit red. I would say the only thing I don't really want is this clear. Um, so I'm just sort of adding bits, more orange stuff over here, more red over the other side. Um, yeah, some of them are on their side, some of them are the right way up. I don't really mind which way they go. I mean, to be honest, that might be better on its side because you'll get more red and less clear. So I'm going to carry on filling all of these up um, with the different colours and then we'll have a look before it goes in the kiln. This is ready to go in the kiln to be pressed. So here are these um, pressed bits. I'm sorry guys, I forgot. I should have shown you when they came out of the kiln. With pressing, you're not really entirely sure what sizes you're gonna get. So in fact, the green was bigger than the blue. The blue is also quite a dark blue, but I'm like, I'm gonna just go with that. So I had to cut the green down and I also had to cut the indigo down because it was bigger than the purple. Because I needed to make sure that when they stack on top of each other, I can see a little bit of every layer below. I've decided now I want to kind of cut some slits into them to give them a bit more kind of um, uh, movement when we slump and, and we can um, put some fibre paper underneath. So I'm just going to show you on the tarsal me cutting that. When I'm on the tarsal, of course, you won't be able to hear me 
watch. So I won't talk, you'll just watch. So I've cut the um, the lines and because I, I did it by eye, I would say that it's probably best to um, draw where you're going to cut the lines first, otherwise you could end up with some smaller petals and bigger petals, or just cut across it di directly and then in between. Um, so I then made a mould out of fibre paper. I want to do tack these because I want to put one of our marini on top. So I'm going to kind of put this in and this will tack fuse, then we'll put the next layer in on but we're going to put some sort of fibre paper in between so that, that we have some kind of movement between and we might try and space it out to make sure that the kind of petals and sort of hoik up some, some of the petals and leave some going down so that it has a, a, um, a bit of space. So we'll do that on each layer and carry on again each layer putting a bit more paper but always leaving the, the middle clean so that it sinks down through and then we'll end up with the top layer like this. So we're going to get on and film that and um, we're going to get on and make that and then we'll show you how it looks when it's done. This is going to need a real, really long, 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 long anneal, really long anneal um, because, I mean, you could just slump these layers individually and glue them together. It might be a better idea, but hey, I'm just going to try and put it all in the kiln and put it on the long anneal and see what happens. But it's probably a safer bet is to do it the other way and slump each one individually and then glue it together. But uh, you know, sometimes I just go the wrong way. I can't seem to get myself back to probably doing it the sensible way. Um, so we're gonna get that ready and we'll show you when it's ready to go in the kiln. So here this is in the kiln. Um, it's a big cake of glass. Guys, we and I are going, hmm, no idea what's gonna kind of happen with this. But we're gonna give it a go, why not? Um, I'm gonna kneel it for six hours. So we will see you the day after tomorrow what it's like and uh, see how it comes out. Wish it luck. So here this is out of the kiln. Now this is a great lesson guys. So I have a kiln that fires hot and it's firing really hot. Um, I think there might be a problem with a thermocoupler on it, on it because this went to a 730 tack fuse which is a very low tack fuse. And I had this in the kiln as well because it was a sample to show um, people at workshops the difference between a full fuse and a tack fuse. And that is a blooming contour. That's a contour. So my kiln, this is why I say I hate giving firing schedules because it really is kiln dependent. And then you have a kiln that messes up. So I wasn't planning on it looking like this. It was going to be much more, um, well, less looking like it being blooming fused together. I am going to try and clean it up and clean the fibre paper out and hopefully end up with something that looks um, like a rainbow flower. And we'll see what happens after it's cleaned up. So here it is all cleaned up. There's still kind of bits of fibre paper stuck inside. I kind of, I could use an air hose to try and get them out or I can sandblast it. But then if I sandblast it, if I want it shiny, I'm going to have to fire polish it. And I'm not sure we'd stand up to another firing. So we'll see. I think it's, you know, it's interesting. It shows what happens if your kiln over fires. It um, maybe hopefully gives you some ideas of something. You could do something similar, but maybe different and maybe not over fire it. And I might try it again in the future. Um, and hope you get the firing schedule right and see how it happens. I hope you've enjoyed this. I think it's always good to see other people's fails as well as their successes. I've had quite a few this week and uh, I hope that some, some of my projects turn out okay. Um, we'll probably try and show you some of the fails as well as the successful ones because it's always good to see that, you know, we all have times when things don't work. Um, I hope you've liked this one. Please subscribe, turn on notifications, share this video. It's always nice for us to get that and it helps us out just a little bit and that's good for us. You take care and I'll see you next time.